hello and welcome to Productivity for Solopreneurs, where each week I share a topic, um, or I share insights to getting things done, Wednesdays at one o'clock central time. And today we are doing topic number 127, and it is a quick way to tackle your messy desk while focusing on progress and not perfection. So let me know you're here, say hello in the comments. And for those of you who do not know me, my name is Evie Burke and I work with women entrepreneurs and I help them take their productivity and their profits to a new level. So they are ready to end the distraction in their business and really focus on the things that need to be done in their business and, and getting them done um, productively. <laughs> which is a little redundant, but yes. So they might find themselves a little overwhelmed, exhausted by all of the things that they want to get done. And they aren't willing to continually put in nine to 12 hour days to get all of those things done because there are other places, other um, things that they want to do, other ways that they want to use their attention. So I help them create impactful solutions that focus on getting their high priority, uh, areas completed so they can grow their business with confidence and have the businesses that they want to have. So they were talking about messy desks. Desks. That's a hard word to say apparently. So they can be a distraction. You want to clean it up, but it can feel like just a huge, huge project, right? So the truth is it probably is a huge project or you would already have it done. So a couple of years ago, it might have been three or four actually at this point, but um, a few years ago, my desk was in quite a state. So I have a very large desk. Um, there's a lot of surface area on it. It's a desk that my husband made and every piece of it was covered with something and it was just a mess. Like there's a difference between, you know, neat piles and just like things strewn about and are strewn about and this just had all over it it was a distraction i was frust frustrated but a few things stood in my way of me getting it cleaned up you know these are the things that made it into that huge project i wanted a system for my business cards because they were just piling up over my desk and i didn't really have a way that i um that I wanted to, to track them. Like I knew I wanted to uh, do something with them, but I wasn't sure what that was. So I wanted a system for that. I had a bunch of old papers and things uh, in my file cabinet that needed to be pulled out and put somewhere else or destroyed. So I had room for the things that needed to go in the file cabinet. I'm pointing that direction because that's where the file cabinet is. And I wanted to update how I was filing things in my cabinet and I needed to create some new hanging folders and label them. And, you know, that was a whole project. And then I needed to make some decisions around where I was going to store some of the larger items or if I was going to keep them. And if I didn't, what was I doing with them? So there was a lot of decision making and processes and systems that I felt needed to be in place before or in the process of cleaning up my desk. And the issue was, the, the core of the issue was, I felt like cleaning off my desk and having a, a cleaned off space that wasn't distracting me was a high priority. But at the same time, creating those processes and systems and you know all of that other stuff, those things didn't seem like a high priority. So it felt like a catch 22. And I was so frustrated with the state of my desk. So I, in a fit of frustration, went, cause I have a home office, this is my home. I went and I pulled a laundry basket and dumped the, the, the dirty laundry out of it and brought it in here and just pulled everything off of my desk, except for the stuff that I knew I needed to meet. I was pretty quickly I just pulled everything off the desk and put it in this this large ish laundry basket and the things that I knew I was going to need you know I found a home for them some of the organizational pieces that I had you know I, I moved around and the whole project looked like 
15 minutes maybe and then my desk was clean and I didn't do all of those other projects that I thought I had to do in order to clean off my desk and it allowed me to do those other projects when I had some time over the next couple of months so it was if anything that I needed that had been on my desk my um, laundry basket that kind of behind me so I would see it when I when I came into my office but I wouldn't see it when I was sitting at my desk I would just see my cleaned off desk and uh, I could pull something out of it if there was something in there that I needed and so over the course of the next couple of months ish I did create some of those processes and systems and was able to adjust them to to work with me so things um, here and there started coming out of the laundry basket, right? I was able to take a little time here and there to uh, update my my file system and get things put away. And then one day I had probably a couple of hours in the afternoon one Sunday, and my husband was gone doing something probably at church, and I just went through the rest of the basket, cleaned out, you know, did all anything that was left to do, and my desk was still cleaned off. And what what doing that, what just throwing everything in that basket did for me is it gave me the time I needed to figure out what worked with my desk because I will admit it there were some things that um just ended up getting thrown in the basket because I didn't know what to do with them. And it was an indication that, you know, something about the way I had set things up didn't work for me. And so, okay, there needs to be another adjustment. But it allowed me by focusing on what can I do right now so that I can have the result I want, which is the clean desk. Uh, by focusing on that and letting go of the, oh, but I have to create this system or um, put these things away or make these decisions by letting go my attachment to those things needing to be done like right this minute as I was cleaning my desk. Um, it allowed me to find that solution that really focused on making the progress I wanted and not doing it perfectly, not doing it the way that initially in my head I saw as how it needed to be done. And because of that, I didn't spend all of this time. I was able to honor the priority of I need the desk clean so I'm not so distracted and out of sorts. And the part that says, but doing all of those other things that I think I have to do to make that happen, but those aren't a priority. Um, allowing those things to fall by the wayside and seeing, okay, if this, if having the clean desk is the priority, but updating my file cabinet and putting all of these processes and systems in place right now isn't, how can I let that stuff go until later and still have the clean desk, right? And finding that solution for myself, even though it was kind of in a fit of frustration, really worked. And I share this story with you because I've, I've shared this with people who have been in that similar position where the desk is a mess, they need to clean it off, but there's just so much stuff that goes with cleaning off their desk and they're they're not sure they want to tackle that part but they want the result and when I share what I did with them they're like oh I can do that and it's like this big weight has been lifted from their shoulder or more to the point a big project has been lifted from their shoulders that they don't have to figure out right this minute so I share this story a so if you have a messy desk that's one thing you can do. Um, sometimes we need permission to do things in a way that um, doesn't feel complete sometimes. I would argue that this is a way to, that is, this is a complete way, but if you need permission, I give you permission. But also to say, is there somewhere else in your business where you are so focused on, I want this result, and here's how I envision it happening, but I don't have time for that, or I can't figure that out. Is there a way you can get the results you want without doing all that other stuff right now? That doesn't mean that it doesn't need to get done. Um, with the cleaning off my desk, I still had to eventually find a place to put those things. And I did have to implement those systems. 
but the basket bought me time. So what are the things that you can do that can buy you time, right? Um, let's see. So, so yeah, and, and a way to, to see what are those other places you might apply this is what are those areas in your life or your business that are really nagging at you right now? So I know for my, my desk at the time, it was really like a kind of voice in my head going, you really should clean off this desk. It is really messy. It is really distracting you. You need to put this stuff away. And, you know, there was just like that, that commentary going on in my head. There was that nagging. So is there something like that happening in your life right now? or in your business right now. So I encourage you to do one of two things. Uh, one, if you want to share it in the comments and let us know what it is and what kind of help or advice you're looking for, we can help you with that. I can help you with that and, and the other watchers of the video can help you with that. Or if it's something that you're looking for, maybe a little more um, personalized help or you don't wanna post it on Facebook, then reach out to me and let's just have a quick conversation and we can talk about what what the the uh, the nagging thing is that that is what that nagging thing is for you and how you might address that and and what a solution might be for you. So the easiest way to set that up or to reach out to me is to head over to my website and go to the contact me form and just let me know what you're looking for and why you're reaching out and we can get something on the calendar. So that is live number, what is it, 127, and a quick way to tackle your messy desk that focuses on the progress you want to make without worrying about the perfection. You could also title it, What Evie Did That Worked in a Fit of Frustration to Clean Her Desk. So everybody, have an absolutely fabulous week, and until next time, much love.